So we're driving down Newmarket's Fordham Road on the Wednesday of Craven Week. It's 8.37, traffic moving along okay down this area. We're heading down towards the A14, A142 junction. There's a huge, great Tesco there. And there's also Hatchfield Farm, a property owned by Lord Derby, and which for ages now, for what seems like an eternity, has been at the center of a major dispute in Newmarket. In short, Lord Derby wants to build on it. He wants 400 houses, he wants a primary school, which he says all will meet the, the need for housing in the local area. The local horse racing population say, no, this should never happen. They say it will damage the, uh, the interests of horse racing in Newmarket, the perception of horse racing in Newmarket. They say it will cause major traffic problems and they say it will also put racehorses at risk. It's been going back and forth, in and out of court, etc., etc. The local authority, Forest East Ethwick Council, I said yes, it should happen. The government rejected it. That government decision was then turned over in the High Court. At some point soon, a final yay or nay is going to be given to Hatchfield Farm. At the moment, unless the government turns it down, it will happen, which means we are at major stakes time in the Hatchfield Farm debate, and we're here to speak to people about this hot topic. So this is Hatchfield Farm, just at the back of Stanley House Stud, which is home to Lord Derby's great mare, Ouija Board. The site is currently used as arable land. It runs alongside a busy road with a large Tesco opposite. The contentious development plans have been revised over the years, but the latest submission to the local authority is to build 400 homes down from an original proposal of 1,200 on the site. Leading the fight against the development is County Councillor and former Town Mayor Rachel Hood, who is also founder of the Save Historic Newmarket Group. She has concerns that the racing industry viewpoint is being ignored. A lot of people don't know that the horse racing industry is an immense contributor economically. It's the joint second largest economic contributor to the entire Cambridgeshire East Anglian sub-region. So it is hugely influential employment-wise and economically. Newmarket is known as the historic home of horse racing. It has a unique um, selling point and we should be protecting it, not treating it as I'm afraid seems to be happening as a potential commuter town for Cambridge. So it's most unusual that an entire industry would spend 10 years fighting a development and the reason is that um, Newmarket has not been well served and is not being properly treated and these houses, because we have a five-year housing land supply, don't need to be built in Newmarket. So there's a very simple solution. The other matter that I think is uh, important to state is that there are five hectares of light industrial proposed for this site. Now, the horse racing industry has not been consulted on this. Curiously, um, trainers, trainers' yards, which employ hundreds and hundreds of people, are not counted as employment sites. The study that was done on whether or not this light industrial five hectares of employment space, whether that was required, um, was done by uh, basically the consultees were people who have no knowledge of Newmarket and are based in Bury St Edmunds or elsewhere. So. That's pretty disappointing. We have an immense industry here contributing at least three and a half billion pounds a year to UK PLC. And there is no need to build these houses here. We have a five year housing land supply and um, we would like to think that in due course the District Council will um, do the appropriate research and understand that this project is completely unnecessary in this position. Now Lord Derby wasn't available when we were filming in Newmarket but he's very happy to talk to us on the phone so let's give him a call. Uh, well, Lord Derby, Rachel Hood has presented the case to us as to why the new market racing community is against the Hatchfield plans. What would you say to the community there as to why you believe this will not be damaging to Newmarket as the headquarters of British horse racing? 
this is really not going to damage the uh, racing industry in Newmarket. Uh, I've got horses in training with three different trainers, and my stud is the very closest stud uh, to the Hatchfield Farm site. So there's absolutely no intention of, of that. What we've seen is a huge increase in the number of horses in training in Newmarket in, in recent years. Uh, and as we all know, um, horses are, are large needers of people. Uh, and so employment numbers around the racing yards has, has gone up quite considerably. Now, the biggest objection to uh, Hatchfield Farm uh, has generally been over the traffic. And if you have more horses, as we do, then you need more people, and more people need somewhere to live. If the people can't live in Newmarket, then they have to live in the surrounding towns. When they're in Newmarket, they can walk or bicycle to work. Um, if they are in surrounding towns, not only is that less feasible, and so they have to almost certainly have to drive in, uh, but then their, their families also have to drive in to the supermarket, doctors, schools, and so on. And so I believe this does address those issues. Uh, furthermore, the raised lane crossing has always been put up as a big problem, and we have agreed to fully fund the New Market Horseman's Group uh, favoured scheme. Uh, and also, uh, we have said we will fund the A14, A142 junction that we already know is an existing problem. And can you outline the case as to why you think Newmarket needs this development? But Newmarket specifically needs this development because, first of all, we, we've already identified the horse numbers have gone up, so the, so the people numbers need to go up about it. We are, we're a nation where we're all getting older. We've had many trainers say one of the great challenges is the lack of housing in Newmarket. Um, the high street benefits from more people living in an area, but we have an aging population, so uh, people are living longer, which is creating an acute housing crisis. And anybody who reads any newspaper or any type of news channel uh, is, is aware of the housing crisis that we have in this country. So, where does this leave things? Well, as the saga enters its final furlong, here is what Rachel Hood thinks will happen next. Well, Hatchfield is not actually back in the local plan. The District Council voted um, to put it back in, but it has to go out to consultation. Yes. I'm optimistic that the District Council will follow the lead of our uh, excellent MP and realise that Newmarket is unique, it's historic, and once it's gone, once Newmarket is turned into any old town, a commuter town for Cambridge, it's gone forever. And I believe that the horse racing industry is standing up as one to protect Newmarket, to protect our jobs and to protect our economic contribution to the entire country.